hi guys welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well so in this video we will see amrit udyan and rashtrapati bhavan rashtrapati bhavan is also called the president's estate in english so the entry to both of these places is not free you have to buy a ticket to enter both of these places and the ticket is also different so i will share the link to book the tickets for both of these in the description box so that you can check it out so if you are traveling by metro you can reach these places by dropping off at the central secretariat metro station you can also come by your own personal vehicle or you can book an ola or uber now if you are coming through your own personal vehicle you need to take entry from a separate gate this place that we are currently seeing is amrit udyan and i entered there using gate number 35 this is the first time that amrit udyan is open during september also usually it's open around february and march period so as you can see here there are different types of trees plants flowers etc now this place that you are currently seeing this was the bonsai section area so for people who don't know bonsai are plants which are miniature plants of trees that grow very big and it is very difficult to grow them here we can see that there were so many beautiful bonsai trees now my favorite part was this there were so many water fountains that were so beautiful in the amrit udyan these were musical water fountains and there was so much peace if you will stand there for 5 to 10 minutes and just watch them listen to the music watch the water going up and down it was so peaceful and soothing to watch there were two three fountains there so this was the area from which you can see all the three fountains in the straight line also there was a lot of rush in the amrit udyan now i am not sure if you are able to see like i'm pretty sure you are not able to see but there were tiny little oranges grown in this tree now this is the a uh, more entry area for the amrit udyan as we entered this wall like structure we entered this place and it was so mesmerizing we could see the rashtrapati bhavan from here and the outside of the rashtrapati bhavan was this part of amrit udyan which was so beautiful and we also saw a peacock a beautiful peacock which came to say us hi and now there was a lot of cleaning going on the place is very clean also they don't let you sit at any place inside the amrit udyan for a lot of time there is security everywhere who will keep asking you to uh, leave this place leave this place don't sit at one place so it's tiring but it's beautiful and so yeah as you can see there was there is a lot of rush and people are trying to keep it clean the cleaning is going on continuously there was lot of greenery i mean being able to see this much greenery in delhi in itself is a blessing this place was very beautiful although it was not as beautiful as it is during the february and march time but it was pretty decent because a lot of flowers and grass was still not grown in september but it was pretty decent yeah as you can see this is the famous rose garden in the amrit udyan so it is said that inside this rose garden there are 120 120 around 120 varieties of roses available and it looks very beautiful especially during the february and march time so here they have they had grown plants in vertical also so it was very beautiful the more beautiful part is now going to come as we will keep walking forward and as as we will exit there is a cute little beautiful water fountain and it was so peaceful it was so so peaceful to see and then again you have to keep walking there 
and after you will exit they will give you a card which is the tulsi seed card and they will very politely ask you if you are not going to grow it please return to them so only take if you are really going to grow the plant also they will take sure inside the amrit udyan you have the food court the prices are bit bit expensive obviously we ate samosa so we got two pieces of samosa for 50 rupees the taste was good but yeah it's expensive also there were these tiny little stalls these stalls are government stalls so if you want you can take things from there also the prices are fixed we took one agarbatti from there and it, it was good the smell was good it uh, so for one packet of agarbatti they gave it for around 100 rupees also as you can see this mitti cafe this mitti cafe was run by especially abled people and the food there was also very good so if you go to the food court please support them so now we are exiting through the um, amrit udyan now this is the entry of rashtrapati bhavan through gate number 38 if you are using public transport you are walking you are a pedestrian you don't have your own private vehicle you can enter through gate number 38 now this is the main building of rashtrapati bhavan on the left side of this main building they have washrooms for both men and women also they have water coolers too there is enough security now this building like pillar like structure that you are seeing is called the jaipur column it was gifted by maharaja of jaipur to mark the transfer of capital of india from calcutta to new delhi so they won't allow you to carry your phones and any electronic devices inside the rashtrapati bhavan so there is a place they will ask you to submit it you have to submit your purse and everything there you can't carry inside they will allot you with a guide our guide name was rosie the guide will show you everything this is the way area one person will call you inside and then you will get a guide which will show you everything inside the rashtrapati bhavan so overall the experience was good thank you so much for watching please do like